Morgan Gumbo. I've got my guest here, Julie from Greenbrier Games. You played a game that I have yet to play, although Helena was on the show, and I and I see it every once in a while at the, at the game store, and I really want to try it because I, I think my kids would like it. Wreck Raiders. Oh, Tell me about it's really this game. good. So I last year at Origins um, was playing it with I had like a half an hour where I didn't have to be at the booth, and <laughs> Andrew Wolf was wandered by and said, Hey, you want to go play a game? And I was like, yeah, I want to play a game. So Andrew Wolf, who's, uh, you know, worked at, uh, the OP when, in the Harry Potter card game. And, uh, I think now he's at, where is he now? Po- Pokemon. So mm. he's also a very busy person. We both had time. So we're like, we're going to go play a board game at a convention, which for us is a novelty. And we saw Helena playing a game and, just for fun, just for fun. So, She's like, yeah, I can, I can get you started, but I can't, I can't leave my booth. So she got us started playing. We're playing it, and as we're playing, I just remember sitting there going, "This is amazing." I'm gonna pick up a copy as soon as we're done here. And Andrew said, "I got like the there were like three left when I bought this one," and I, I was like, "Finished in my turn. Be right back." <laughs> so it's it's a I mean it's be- like you, it's, you know feast for the eyes. It's beautiful to look at. Uh, we we talked about dinosaurs and Greek mythology, but oceans is up there too. So you yeah, have that's that, true. and you have it's a uh, one of those. It's definitely resource management and different pathways, and you can see all the different pathways of what you can do to make choices of of what you're uh, what you're going to do to level up. Uh, the little, tricky part little push your is that you're, yeah, a little bit because you're trying to fill those um, those slots across, and if you don't fill them properly, you're gonna you can either swing really high and get a lot of points if you're planning and pl- placing them out correctly. And if you are, the tiles that you get aren't really working for you, it can be trickier and you have to focus on other ways. But if you've selected that as a strategy, it's a little bit tougher. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the name father said you, she pushed her luck once too far. Yeah. Like, too many times. I, in can't so, go. Yeah, my favorite part. In absolutely. can't stop gold was building the aquariums, which is one of the things you can do to gain points. And oh. it's not the best way. It's absolutely not, but it's the coolest. So it's the the compulsion to make these really pretty. And, you know, you've got all the symbols on the side and they can stack and they can build and compound and everything to, to gain greater points. And I would just, I didn't care. I just wanted the pretty fish. And Andrew knows this about me. So he was definitely like, even in the first game, I lost miserably. Didn't care. It was so much fun. So yeah, that is uh that is one that I highly recommend.